This is the new FreeSky Neuron S ESC. It's smaller and lighter than the previous Neuron, but still retains all the telemetry capabilities of the preceding version. It weighs in at a scant 39 grams. And this is the original Neuron. It weighs in at 59 grams and is substantially larger than the S. Next, we're going to talk about the Neuron's BEC. The first thing that I would like to mention is that the BEC can be turned off if you prefer to use a separate power supply for your control system. You turn it off simply by removing this jumper. As I mentioned in the trailer, the BEC's voltage output is adjustable using OpenTX's built-in lure script or by using FreeSky's FreeLink app. Let's take a look at how to use those now. Okay, I've got my radio bound to my receiver and my uh, ESC is plugged into the receiver and plugged into a battery and we'll just switch it on. And we're now getting a voltage reading from the BEC and to change that voltage output from the BEC, we go into system, we click over to tools, scroll down to FreeSky SBEC, click on that, and then in the upper right hand corner we have our voltage adjustment, so we click on that, and let's jump it up to 6 volts, and we let that right to the uh, neuron, and we go back and check our home page, so that we can see that the voltage has been changed. So I'll just go over that one more time quickly. Going to system, oops, uh, scroll over to tools, down to SPEC. We can now drop our voltage back to five volts. And hit return a couple of times. And there it is, back down to five volts. So pretty easy to do. Uh, probably the easiest way to change it, but now we can take a look at uh, how to do it with uh, FreeSky's FreeLink app. Okay, so we wanted to go to yep, Bluetooth Kits and Push this button to restart your scan. Scroll up to FreeSky BT there. And just go ahead and hit the pair button. You don't have to put in any code. Okay. And for the BEC, you want to go to the config tab at the top. And scroll down to SBEC. And that shows where we're currently at as soon as you hit the read button. Okay. Now we can make the change. Bump it to six volts and we hit right. And you can see the voltage changing on the meter. The meter is connected to the output on the uh, Neuron's BEC. And we'll go ahead and uh, change it back again. We're going to uh, let's see, go there, put in five volts, push done write it to the BBC, well, to the neuron. And you can see the voltage going back down again. And, yeah, that's it. To connect the Neuron S to BL Heli Suite, uh, you're going to need one of these dongles uh, from FreeSky. This is the BL Heli 32 USB linker. And it comes with this cable, but you need to modify the cable before you can use it. 
And you do that by kind of pressing the black part in a little bit, push down on it, and then take a X-Acto knife or something sharp, maybe a pin, and just lift that center clip and pull out the red wire. We don't want the electricity making its way into the uh, USB linker. Okay, so we got that, and now we're just gonna put a piece of tape over it so that it doesn't accidentally touch anything that it's not supposed to. Okay, now it's ready to use. Now that you've got the male-to-male -male cable uh, modified, you can go ahead and plug it into the linker. And there's two little tiny letters here. There's a, a G and an S. And the G stands for ground, and the S stands for signal. So we plug this in, and we got the black wire is ground, and the yellow wire is signal up here on the top. The other end of this cable gets plugged into the neuron and it goes in the PWM plug which is the top one that has three pins. So you can see that? And the uh, ground is on the top. The ground is on this side and a little symbol for signal is right there. Okay. Now we can plug it into the computer. Okay, the next step is to plug the dongle into the laptop. And plug your flight battery into the neuron. And this will power everything up. Okay, once you've got the neuron connected uh, to the USB linker and you've opened up Yell Heli Suite 32, we go down here to this button and we hit connect. And next thing is to read the setup from the ESC. And there we go. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here, and uh, many people may not know what all of this stuff is for. Uh, it's all pretty cool, though. But if you want to learn more about it, Go up here to BLHeli32 Info and click on that. And open up the operation manual for BLHeli. This is an awesome manual that you can use to learn about all of the different parameters, what they do, and how to adjust them. Once you've made the adjustments that you want to make, you go to this button and hit Write Setup. And once that's complete, you come down here to the Disconnect button. And then you're free to unplug the USB dongle and unplug the battery uh, from the ESC. Now that the ESC is plugged in and the TX is bound to the receiver, I'm going to long press back to the telemetry page, scroll down to discover new sensors and click on it. And there's the telemetry from the neuron. Don't forget to click on stop discovery when you're finished. 
Now that we have discovered the neuron sensors, we click back to the home page. Long press the telemetry button and choose a widget layout for the home page. Then click on Setup Widgets. Choose a window and click on it. Then scroll through the windows until you find one labeled Value and click on it. Click on the source line and scroll to the end of the list. Then choose which sensor you would like to display and click on it. I've chosen ESC voltage. Exit out of the widget setup window and plug in the battery into the ESC so we can see the battery voltage. And there we go. All right, now that we've got switched over to this new model that I've got set up with eight widgets up front, um, we're just going to take a quick look at what I've got here and what the uh, ESC is offering for telemetry. We've got ESC Amperage, that's pretty basic. ESC Amperage Plus, and what that does is records the highest uh, current that was used by the ESC during flight. And here we've got ESC voltage, which is basically uh, the voltage of your battery pack. This is ESC voltage minus, and I use this to tell me how low the battery sags under load. This is ESC RPM here, and ESC RPM plus, so this will record the maximum RPM available. And we've got ESC temperature plus. I want to know what the maximum temperature of the ESC was during the flight. And this tells me what my total output current was during the course of the flight. 